Hey guys, today on Rent One, I'm teaming up with FortisTracks.com, and I'll be showing you how to measure rubber tracks. When looking up different tracks, you'll notice that each track has a measurement and is broken up in three different parts that look like this. The first number represents the track width in millimeters. If you're using an imperial base system, a good conversion to know is that 10 millimeters makes up one centimeter and one inch makes up 2.54 centimeters. The second number represents the pitch or the distance between each link center to the other link center. The last number represents the total links in a track. The best way to count the links is to put a piece of tape on the link you're counting, or my favorite way, if you don't have any tape handy, is just to clean the first link, and that will be a good indication on which your first link is, since the whole track is probably dirty anyways. Once you've got your measurements, you can order some new parts for your machine. If you're looking for a place to buy some online, head over to FordishTracks.com. There you'll find an abundance of different tracks for tons of machines, and orders are shipped using same-day shipping so downtime is minimized. In addition, products are backed by a two-year hassle-free warranty. If you guys are in need for some heavy equipment rentals, head over to rentone.ca, and I'm sure we'll be able to provide you with a machine for your job site. I hope that helps. If you guys have any questions, feel free to ask in the comments. And if it did help, be sure to like the video and subscribe. See you guys in the next one.